Welcome. In front of me is a CAT S40, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. Now you can see right here that the phone I have is blocked, and to basically finish up the setup, I would need to verify the account. Now to get started with the bypass, you want to connect to uh, network and then progress to the same place I am right now to the verification screen. Tap on a field and then as you can see it brings up the Swift keyboard and also gives us the ever so nice notification that there is more settings here. So you want to hold the one two three option which brings up the Swift keyboard menu. And in here we can access the settings from here scroll down to about Swift key then select open source license Roll down, like down, there we go, till you see this kind of test, text, and hold your finger on any kind of text, doesn't really matter which one you select, just any kind of text uh, or word. And select search option, which opens up Google. And in here, once you do that, you wanna tap on the Google search right there and type in Chrome. There we go, it comes up as a suggested. So open up Chrome browser, give it a second, this will disappear, there we go. Select accept and continue, and no thanks. Tap on a field right here, and navigate to hard reset that info. There we go, I think I wrote it correctly. Yep, I did. So let's can see how do we set that info. So once you're on the site, click on the three bars. Navigate to the download section. And then in the download search bar, you want to type in Android 8. Now the phone is relatively slow as you can see, so it poses a little bit of a challenge. There we go, now we can search. So once you search for the Android 8 in the download category, scroll down, there we go, down and select the download button. Then scroll down again and click on the download once more. Confirm it. And once it's done downloading, you will have the uh, option to open it. So let's wait for that to pop up. There we go. Select open. And before we can actually install it, uh, we will need to go into the settings and scroll down to unknown sources. So you wanna turn that on, confirm it, go back. And this time around, this, comes, uh, th this will be a little bit finicky. We downloading it again because we have no other way of uh, accessing it but make sure you do not press the replace file. Uh, this will make the process basically uh, dead and you will have to reset the device and try from the beginning. So make sure you select this, create a new file. And from there, we're gonna select open, which will open up our downloads folder instead this time around. And as you can see, we have the one that replaced, uh, or not the one that replaced, the, the, the second file that we downloaded, which is a dead link. You can see that it comes up as a text file basically, even though it has an APK file uh, ending, it just doesn't work. But the first one that we downloaded should work just fine. So click on it. And do you want to install this application? It will get access to, yep, I do, but how? Let me install. Troubleshooting. Okay, so continuing the bypass, um, I managed to figure out uh, how to get past this and actually it was just written in a guide, but uh, because this seemed so benign, uh, I overlooked it. So uh, as you remember, the install button was basically uh, not clickable. What you need to do is just press the power button, press it again, and everything is fixed. 
So from here, let's select install um, and then preferred installation location. I'll let the system decide, sure, and let it install. Let's accept. Select open here. And now we're gonna start off by tapping the Google Account Manager APK install. And this time around, um, we're gonna select for version 5.0. And let's see. Let's see if the same trick works again. And look at that, it worked. So we're gonna select install. Again, let the device decide. And this time around, we're clicking on done. And we're gonna now select the bypass FRP. Browser sign in. And we're gonna tap on the three dots and again, select browser sign in. Confirm it. There we go. And once it loads up, you want to simply log in with your Google account. If you don't have one, you can create it, although I wouldn't recommend doing it on the phone itself, even though we do have a option right here. Uh, do it on some other device. I have no idea how well this works right here. So yeah. Now, once you have an account, I can use an existing one or create a new one just spe specifically for this. That's completely up to you. Uh, but once you have it, log in. Now I'll be logging with my account, so. There we go. And now we'll provide the password. So obviously off the screen. And log in. Okay, so once you have installed both of those, uh, or not installed, uh, logged in, we're gonna now select the hold the power key and select the reboot option. Confirm it and just wait for the device to boot back up. So as you can see, we're now back in the setup screen. So let's just progress through the setup now. And there will be one key difference throughout this process. So let's just wait for it to show up. And there we go. So it gives us a message account added, which uh, it considers the account that we have added right before the reboot as the one that we have added. And this allows us to progress through the setup. From here, I'm gonna scroll down, select don't restore, skip, skip anyway, more, more, and next. And this should give us access to the home screen. Now from here, from the home screen, you wanna navigate into your settings Scroll all the way down. There we go, to backup and reset. Select factory data reset and then a reset phone. And once you tap on the erase everything, this will then complete the bypass of the device. So what will happen, uh, because right now the device is still uh, in a locked state, the account that was blocking us is still on this phone. And if we would perform a different kind of reset, it would go back to being locked. But if you factory reset the device through settings, this will remove uh, all the data from the device, including the accounts and protections that were previously set. So once you click on that, it will basically begin. It will well, obviously take a couple of minutes and once it's finished, you'll be back in the setup screen. But at that point, the device will be fully unlocked and you can set it up however you like. Now, I will not be going over uh, the factory reset on the video just because it 
will provide you with no extra information. It's just a simple, basically straightforward process. It resets itself, you set up your device, bam, done. So basically with that being said, this will uh, conclude the fact, or not factor reset, but the bypass of Google verification here. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.